Did you realize that the side effects from vitamin D are actually not coming from vitamin D? Some people, when they start taking vitamin D, have side effects. They might get a headache, they have insomnia, they're restless, uh, muscle cramps, palpitations, anxiety, and even constipation. But what you have to realize is those symptoms are not really coming from the vitamin D. Those symptoms are a magnesium deficiency. Magnesium is needed for vitamin D to get absorbed. So magnesium lowers the side effects from taking vitamin D, even though they're not side effects from vitamin D. They're a magnesium deficiency. And if you are deficient in magnesium, and by the way, most people have a subclinical magnesium deficiency, which means that they have some magnesium, but not the full amount required to do all the things that it's supposed to do. For example, a cofactor for 300 enzymes, which means basically it's a helper mineral uh, involved in protein synthesis, making protein in muscles and enzymes and things like that. It helps regulate blood sugars. It's involved in producing energy. Uh, it's involved in making glutathione, which is a, one of the most important antioxidants for the liver. So if you have a subclinical magnesium deficiency, some of these functions are not going to work. That's called magnesium resistance. But the only side effect from vitamin D by taking very large amounts, I'm talking over 100,000 milligrams, and you're not taking any vitamin K2, uh, could be hypercalcemia symptoms. But this is very, very rare. And the only problem with this is kidney stones. But if you're drinking enough water, at least two and a half liters a day, uh, the chances of you getting that are close to zero. The chances of you developing a kidney stone are very, very, very small. But I'm talking about the situation where someone starts taking 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, even 40,000 IUs of vitamin D, and they experience these right here. All that means is they need a little bit of magnesium. Uh, the best foods to get magnesium, leafy greens, enough of them, not a, one small cup, but at least like seven cups per day. Uh, also, pumpkin seeds have magnesium. Nuts have magnesium. There's a lot of other foods that have magnesium, but if you're really concerned, just take some magnesium with your vitamin D and watch these symptoms disappear and realize it's not coming from the vitamin D. Just taking vitamin D exaggerates this subclinical magnesium deficiency and it makes it more severe. Now, there's also reasons why vitamin D won't work. I've done a lot of videos on that. Uh, if the gallbladder has a problem, if there's not enough bile to help you absorb vitamin D, and then if there's liver damage, kidney damage, you're not taking any vitamin K2 because K2 works with vitamin D3. Uh, let's say you had a gastric bypass. That could create a problem. GI issues, you have inflammation in your gut. Or let's say you drink a lot of alcohol. Those are all reasons why you're not going to be able to absorb vitamin D. But in this video, I'm mainly focusing on the symptoms that could come when you take vitamin D. Just add a little magnesium and you're going to be good to go. All right, guys, thanks for watching and definitely check out these videos I have on vitamin D. Uh, they're quite interesting.